and small. Go large, where we see what would happen if we take a kid's toy and go that little bit bigger. Silly putty. It's the kid's toy putty that bounces. But what would happen if you went large with it, got a big blob of it and dropped it from a very high place? Would it break or would it bounce? Silly Putty was invented by a Scottish engineer, James Wright, who was trying to come up with an alternative to rubber for use in car tyres. He combined boric acid and silicone oil and only realised he'd struck pay dirt when he threw it on the ground and it unexpectedly bounced. In no time at all, Silly Putty became a best-selling toy and even got taken around the moon aboard Apollo 8. As well as bouncing, if Silly Putty's pulled slowly, it acts more like a liquid and stretches without breaking. If tugged hard and quickly, it acts more like a solid and snaps off cleanly. Fun for all the family, then. By all accounts, this stuff will bounce back up to 80% of the height from which it's dropped. So, will our big ball be bouncing, or will the stress of the landing cause it to smash into smithereens? Our ball of silly putty is about half a metre wide and weighs around 30 kilos. Up she goes then. 20 metres is the height and 20 metres the drop. Our massive toy blob ball hits the ground at around 80 kilometres an hour. And then she bounces to a very satisfying six metres. No breakage then, but it did absorb a lot of the shock when it hit terra firma. And that is what happens when you take a blob of silly putty and go large. <laughs>